Ryan Rose. One might fight with Ryan. Yeah. Crackle, wouldn't it? Fuck it. Yeah. Crackle. That's one of my best fights right there. It. it was a cracker, and uh, to be honest, you know, I said I said to Ryan the last time I saw him, I said, obviously I dropped you in the first round, it was a flash knockdown. Yeah. But then when you dropped me in the 10th, I was probably early knockdown. That's the only time in my whole career, and a whole pro, I've been, like when, when I fought Kenny Pampek, um, he turned the heat, but it was constant. So I didn't go down from one particular punch, I just took a knee to try and get a breather. So it was right, right, bang, down. That's the only time ever in my whole career, in all the fights I had, that I've got legitimately dropped. What was his qualities? Say again, sorry. What was his qualities? Well, Ryan, yeah. just couldn't hit him. So yeah. a lot of people said, why do you keep hitting the body all the time? Why wasn't always there. I said, I'm fucking in there. You know, my, my old man, the first thing he told me when I was a kid, if you can't hit someone in the head, the body doesn't move. So I unmoved the body, I think it broke him down a little bit, because when, when he dropped me in the 10th, I think when he tried to finish me, I hit back and I think I had a little bit more left in the tank than what he did. Um, but after that, he went on to do really good things and he went on to be Jane Law, he went on to fight Canelo. And, uh, so I think for Ryan, it was a crossroads in his career when he fought me. I think the loss to me kind of was a good thing for him because it gave him confidence because I was supposed to be this massive puncher and he gave him confidence and he'd gone 12 rounds with me. So uh, no, I got a lot of respect for Ryan. We've been mates since we were kids, you know? Yeah. And uh, I really like Ryan a lot. Is that, is that hard, like, fighting someone that you know quite well, though, you well, know? Well, obviously, you know, at the time, we're not best mates, but I, I've got a lot of respect for him, and I like the guy, and I think, you know, we, we both got pretty well paid, so yeah. when you're getting well paid, I think, you know, you put your friendship aside, and you and you fight each other, and then, you know, you earn a bit, a bit of money together, and then perhaps you can be friends after, that's not what you hope, but I think boxing these days, I don't like all this, it's falling out. And Was it like Jamie Moore and, um, was it Macklin? They, they, yeah. they were mates, didn't they? Yeah. And then they, they fought and... Right. Um, but he, he then laid a train map there, didn't he? So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. When did you know you could punch? When did you feel the... 13. Yeah. I knew I could punch before then, but I was stopping kids at like 13. Yeah. I was knocking the kids out at like 14, 15. Yeah. Uh, but Ryan was too. You know, Ryan mm. always had power at an early age, so... Yeah. So, yeah.